Hello and welcome to the first video of the year. I'm going to try and improve my content from now on, but I ran into some problems. My screen recorder on my phone stopped working, so now I will have to take pictures of what we're going to do. Every tutorial I'm going to start by showing us what we will accomplish under this video. For example, in this video we're going to create a text object and a font object. And when we pick up a point object we are going to increase our score by 100 and display it over here. So since my screen recorder broke I'm going to show two pictures. This is the first picture when we start application. You have zero score. And over here we have picked up two point objects and we have increased our score by 200. And I also showed you how to change the color of the text object to red. Also I'm going to go ahead and skip the video and we're going to start. Alright then, let's get started. First of all we are going to create our font object and our text object. We just do this private font and the name of our font will be game font. And then import font if you haven't done it already. Text and we're also going to create a text object that will display our score and use the font game font. Private text score text is what I'm gonna call it since it will display our score it's, it's quite fitting and now we need to declare our font I will do this inside our uncreate resources I'm gonna go down here initialize our font to do this game font equals to font factory dot create this dot oh, this dot get font manager and this dot get texture manager and on the texture width and height I'm just gonna type in two fifty six And then we are going to create a typeface. I'm going to create this font as a bold. This is bold, so it will be a bit wider than normal. Do that. You type typeface dot create typeface dot default, and then over here in the second parameter, typeface dot bold. Let's go with bold italic. typeface can just remove those, those and then the size will be 24 pixels and the color of our text is going to be white if we declare it as white that means that we can actually change the color later on if I would have typed in color that black we would not be able to change the color of our text later on so if you want to change the color make it white, if you do not need to just make it black or whatever color you need and lastly we will load our font, so gamefont.load and that is how you initialize a font there are many different ways, you can for example create a font based on another font, for example Arial or Sans Serif or something like that I will show you that on later videos and now the next step is to initialize our text object we named it score text, so score text will be equal to a new score object. We're going to place it at the top left of our screen, so at position X O and Y O. And we're going to use the font game font, which we created before. And the text is going to be score zero. And this parameter defines how many letters your score object can contain. For example, if I would type 5 over here, we would only be able to hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 letters and no more. If we typed in more, then it would cause an error and crash our application. So I'm going to type in a quite high number, for example 100, since that will be enough. Oh sorry, not new score, new text. Sorry about that. And now we're just going to type in this.getVertexBuffer object manager. 
And that is one of the ways on how you can initialize that text object. And then we just need to attach it, and we're going to attach it, attach it to the HUD, since we want it to follow the player. Attach HUD, score text. So what we have now is a text with a font displayed in the top left corner of our screen. And now we're actually going to change the score every time we pick up a point object, which we do below here. So every time we pick it up, we will call the method update score, which we're going to create now. And what this will do is that it will change the text of our score text object. So score text dot set text basically change the text of our score text object. And we're going to set it to score plus whatever score we have. So for example, if we have picked up one point object, we will have 100 score. And it will be displayed as this in the game, 100 and score plus our score equals to 100. Hope you get it. Maybe not the best explanation, but I'm doing my best. I'm also going to show you how to change the color of your object. Score text dot set color. As you can see below here. And a new color. 1F, OF, OF. Alright, it takes three parameters. Alright, so the first parameter is how much red we want, and the second one how much green we want, and the third one how much blue we want. Since we want it to be completely blue, we're going to type in 1, 0, oh, 0. Oh. So full red and no green or blue. I'm probably going to create a video on more that explains more how this works. Basically, you type in a number between 0 oh to 1, and that will define what type of color you get. For example, if I wanted completely white, I believe it is, I would just type in 111, and black would be 0000 or 000. As you can see, there are a lot of stuff you can change. For example, you can set alpha, which makes it transparent. If you set it to 0, it will be invisible. If you set it to 1, it will be completely visible. You can change the position. Yeah, there are a lot you can do, you can scale it up. So there are really a lot, a lot of options. Now there's one more thing we need to do. Since we don't really take away our points from our array list, it will just keep updating the score even though we have already taken it. So what we need to do is we need to remove the points that we have taken. So whenever we collide with a point subject, we're going to do this points dot remove points dot get i. So basically, we will remove the objects that colli we collide with from the array list. And now it should work just fine. I'm going to try it fast, and I will skip the video. As you saw in the beginning of the video, it worked exactly as it should have. The score updated, and the text changed color. So yeah, that was pretty much all for this video. I showed you how to create a font and how to t create a text object, as well as how to change the text and the color of our text object. So yeah, thank you a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. It would really help a lot, and maybe even share them to your friends. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I will probably up start uploading some Java videos really soon. I will try out to upload two videos each week, at least. So yeah, stay tuned and bye-bye.